hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that channel is deb chanel's 48th world again deb chanel 48th world with all your entertainment gossip news that you care to partake of with me okay so thank you for coming over to the house today we're gonna be still pumping out videos yes pumping out the videos here we go yes so thank you for coming over to the house thank you for all your likes shares your comments all your subscriptions to my channel and share my videos y'all and i want y'all to keep doing so keep doing it keep doing it to it till you can't get enough okay but look, we're gonna be talking about candy birds again it's gonna be a night of talking about candy birds yes lord okay we just trying to keep up with her trying to keep up everywhere she go and if it's something that I want to talk about, I'm going to bring it on the show. Yes, I am. I'm going to invite my family on over here and just see what we can talk about, what we can discuss, and what we can try to clarify what Candy Bird is doing out on them social media streets. Yes, you can call us nosy. You can call us anything you want to. But one thing you can't call us is uninformed. <laughs> Okay, because we are we're gonna be informed over here whether it's the God given truth or it's just fictitious, fuckery, fake, and fraudulent information we got. But we're gonna sit down and we're gonna toast each other up and spend some time with each other. That's what we do over here at the family affair. Yes, it's family. We talk, we discuss, and then we get up and go on about our separate ways. And until we meet again, we kiss each other, we hug on each other, and uh, we say good night to each other. We'll see you later. Okay, it's never goodbye. It's never goodbye because every time I drop a video, I am inviting you all over to the crib and let's sit and talk about this information I got to talk about. That's what we do. So if you haven't hit those notification buttons, or subscribe to my channel please do so at the time alert yourself to the notification bell you know hit that button then you'll know when i drop a video okay okay moving on all right we got this video that uh pretty much candy had took her cell phone over there to essence.com and sat down with them and had a little interview yes she was still talking about the snake gate and hell i thought we left snake gate and went on over to uh spit gate okay Something to that effect. We're trying to get to who spit on each other. Okay. We, that's where we at now. We ain't at Snake Gate no more. We can give a damn about Snake Gate. Because it still did not come out on who was the dropping of the tea. And who had made this fictitious story that we had some audio recording. Okay. I don't understand. It seemed like it was a nee, -nee little rush job to me. Or hell, it could have been uh Yovana working with Nene, Nene being the head person to have her storyline. You see what I'm saying? But it kind of backfired. Because it was no uh audio or recording for us to partake of. And that's probably why Bravo just pulled the plug and said, okay, you ain't got no goods, you ain't got no receipts, you don't want to give it up, then you got to go. Because that's what this show is all about. Bring a receipt, uh, excuse me, bring a receipt, starting shit, and moving on to that next storyline. Because we got to make ratings. We got to make hits. If we ain't doing neither one of those, why are we here? Why are we here, Ike? Why are we here? Okay, so anyway, came on my little social media trending website. Yes, honey. I'm subscribed to a lot mm -hmm. of gossip columnists. And they're out here just bringing out stories. And then I'm reading them with you all um, in real time. And uh, we just putting our little spin on them. You know, I say what I got to say. I read it verbatim. And then I leave it to you all. To take a look at the video, hear my words in action, and then y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. That's how we do over here, family. That's how we have our little talks, our little discussions, our uh, trying to ascertain what we have been put out or what we have been set to look at, put out in front of us uh to view and make speculations on okay ain't nothing over here the truth some of it might be true but it hidden so good we don't know if we partake of the truth or a lie but we enjoying it yes we are we enjoying having a conversation all right because sometimes we have to bear off and talk about how our day was at work and who got on our nerves and and who said what and who did what and what we gonna go back and do you know what i'm saying but sometimes we just like mindless drama. We like turn on the television, look at some kind of sitcom show, and get some laughs and kikis. Or some of us come to YouTube 
watch us as content creators okay and me like fam come on over here y'all see i drop a video and we just talk about different subjects just out there trending in the celebrity world you know kind of like living vicariously through them and their ups and downs okay but anyway we go on into this uh this um article they wrote up on candy burst essence.com get into it go on over there to their website and peep some of their uh entertainment gossip that they may have going on that i require not to talk about okay because it just didn't tickle my fancy that's pretty much it i didn't give a shit about what they were saying it wasn't really uh entertaining to me so i just left it alone but anything that they talking about the housewives you know i got my the housewives of Atlanta now that is okay i got my ear to the ground because I want to know what my ladies are up there doing. If they doing things properly or, again, they acting a fool out in them streets. And I got to come back and just chastise them and tap them on their hands and ask them, you know, have y'all lost y'all damn mind? Have y'all lost y'all minds all together? And try to get them back together. But sometimes they lend to their own understanding. They go and do what they got to do. And then sometimes they may listen. But they won't tell us. You know, the content creators, they, they watch us, but they don't really want to throw us out any names, whatever, because they know they have the millions of people coming over, subscribing to our channel. And, you know, we what we say is the God-given truth, which is far from the truth, okay? We're just doing speculation. We're just allegedly doing things over here, and we're just freely talking, just voicing our opinions, okay? But anyway, we've gone to this article. Um... It, I guess it's a journalist that works for Essence.com. We didn't give really any claim to fame who wrote up the article. So we're just going to say a staff associate, correspondent, journalist, however she want to or he want to see himself. Okay. But the title of the article says Candy Burris dishes on Snake Gate and Yovana Manaplasur a allegedly recording or alleged recording. Uh, Burr shared her feelings about the situation with Essence revealing that she initially liked Giovanna Monoplasor before Snakegate went down. I'm like, yeah, you should you sit up there snake yourself. You a bone collector. You what, dog snake, whatever it is. You sit up there and carry gossip. It ain't necessarily true, but you sit here and go tell. Sit here and go tell. So what that makes you, baby? Whether you got it on recording here, you recording yourself. You verbatim take shit back. Oh, uh, line by line, word by word, okay? Alphabet by alphabet. So what that makes you can, I'm just saying. You trying to call somebody else bad, don't want them around because they physically record you. Hell, you just as bad. You take what somebody say verbatim and go back and tell your clique, your alliance, your so-called friends on TV and break down the T to them. So, I mean, really, what, what, that, what that make you, girl? Damn. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black, y'all? Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Regardless, you take it back how can you take it back? Deemed as the bone collector. Or you get out of recording, have your phone out there, and y'all just be having a conversation. Don't nobody really be knowing who recording who. You see what I'm saying? Because really, whatever you say in the dark, you should be able to come back and say it in the light. That's just pretty much how I get down. Like it, love it, or just be indifferent with it. I don't give a shit. It's just going to be the same everywhere it goes around. When you hear my mouth talk, I'm saying the same shit, recycling itself. Hold on, guys. So it really don't matter. But anyway, she goes on to say, uh, the stars and fans of the Real Housewives of Atlanta may never officially find out who is behind the explosive recording of Cynthia Bailey, Bad Mouth, and Nene Leaks. But it seems the cast had, have pointed out the finger to be Gail. Yovana, Monosuplet, well, hell, Mom Placerio. Ah, we just gonna call her YM, okay? YM over there shaking things up, okay? And like I said, hell, we never still found out. We could put it on uh, Yovana all day long, but we don't know for it to be a true fact. Because there's nothing given to us. I don't think you can go back and say... Uh, once they view the whole entire season when it comes to reunion time. All thing you heard you want to say was she got receipts. And she didn't say those were written receipts. She didn't say they were copy receipts. She didn't say they were audio receipts. She said they were receipts. Hell, it could have been written on a, a, a sheet that you sleep on. <laughs> okay. Hell, the children could have wrote it down in crayon. We don't know. 
But that was the storyline this bogus Bravo Entertainment, true entertainment at that, tried to feed us, thinking we were going to eat it all up and digest it. Hell no. We said hell no to Bravo Entertainment for giving us that piece of shit. Okay, it don't matter who tried to put it out and sell it to us. It didn't work. It fell flat like... Uh, uh, um, what do you call it? A flapjack that didn't get the chance to uh, rise. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the cream did not rise to the top on that little fiasco of a snake gate. Okay, shit, I blame all of them. I said all last one. I'm Cynthia, Kenya, uh, Candy, Nene, Marlo. Uh, anybody else I'm leaving out? Let me see. Yeah, I say Cynthia. Eva. Hell, all they asses. We gonna call all they asses with Snake Gate. Cause they all don't do nothing but talk about each other like dogs. And then Eva, she just get selective amnesia. She can't remember shit she said. But Bravo show be shading the shit out of her. Cause they show bring her little section up. And it just exposes her. <laughs> So I really cannot wait for a reunion to come. And they continuously, continuously without flaws. Okay. Show Eva all the mistakes she made with saying, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I don't know who lied, but I know I didn't say that. And they just, just show her to it in 3D color if they can. Okay. But anyway, yeah. I don't know about around me. I don't know about. I like, girl, sit down. This is the most playing time that you getting on the court of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And that's because we ain't got nobody. Because Kenya can't run the show herself. Nene can't run the show herself. And Portia definitely ain't acting up with her and Dennis. Who we got? We sure don't want to see damn evil talk about her kids and probably what, when she going to get pregnant again. Damn sure don't want to hear no more about no surrogacy. Uh, from you and Kenya now, I the yeah, no, nope, we that don't play it out. We don't want to hear. Damn, sure don't want to hear about no cancer no more with Greg. Okay, the storylines are drying up. Okay, like the Sahara Desert. That's what we get. Just tumbleweeds running around now. So we need some water to come back in and refresh us. So when we find out who spit it on somebody, maybe they'll quench our thirst. But right now we in the Sahara, a Sahara Desert right about now. But going back to the article. It says, uh, Canterbury's recently stopped by Essence to dish on Snake Gate, revealing that she eventually or initially liked Yovana before things went south. Okay. I actually kind of like Yovana. I thought she was kind of funny. Burris told Essence she would try to reach out to us off camera and stuff like that. So I thought she was genuinely trying to make relationships. Now, sidebar, Candy, who's she reaching out to off camera? Okay, all y'all that clicked up that y'all call each other. Did you get a phone call from Yvonne? Did Yvonne call you trying to hang out with us? Or are you? What's going on? I bet y'all had that part of line going. You, Cynthia, and Kenya. I know y'all did. Had it up. Probably all night. You probably included um, Marlo Hampton in the whole deal. Okay. But Marlo, she gonna tell. She gonna tell in her own classy old age self. She gonna say what went down. Okay. And if you're lying, she gonna say, uh-uh, you lying. <laughs> Just like y'all tried to convince your brother that everybody had come to, to the consensus that she was the snake and they had really found evidence that she was the snake and marlo said no they lie <laughs> they don't know that they just trying to make you say something they lied i was like i was living for marlo when she said that i'm like that's right if they can't come with the goods they can't get somebody to confess no, it's not saying sister bring no lie into it to try to make it the truth okay you can't make the truth out of a lie you can't do it candy and it just told a lot about your character candy i'm watching you girl i'm watching you move honey you're trying to move in silence but you show sure making a lot of noise okay but anyway going back to the article it said i um she would try to reach out to us off camera try to make friends and all this that and third but as viewers have seen whatever friendships that could have been was immediately squashed okay marlo hampton and nini are hinting that you are the snake possibly recording people i don't want you hanging around me i don't want you hanging around me if you do that burr said well Candy, what you think people want you to hang around them you sit up there we talk about kenya you know with you because we having lunch with you and then you run back and tell cynthia and kenya what we were talking about 
even if we were talking about her. Couldn't you have known that you were being set up to sit there and listen to what we had to say? Because we knew it was going to get back to them. Because we chose you to spread out all the rumors, the lies, the whatever we wanted to be mischievous about. We knew you were going to take it back, boo. Because you're the bone collector. That's what you do. So why are you sitting up there trying to throw it? Yovana under the bus and say she did that in the third and you don't like her because she recording. What about your mouth and your ears, Candy? What about your mouth and your ears that goes back and talks about uh, whatever was said and, you know, privy off-camera conversations? What did what, what they tell you about you? Because, quite frankly, I'm getting tired of hearing that shit. I'm tired of you sitting there having conversation with other ladies. And then you going back like a real thirst bucket and telling your crew. Because, you know, that's what I guess they pay you to do. <laughs> Girl, you should be getting some coin. You should be getting some dollars coming back telling folks what was being said about them okay you need to charge a fee baby girl a fee for the tea all right fee for the tea fee for the tea you can't get nothing me with you can't get nothing out of me without the fee that's what you should be telling candy uh to your uh predecessors kenya moore and uh cynthia bailey girl got you looking like a whole fool like him but don't worry going back to the article it says um uh, Yovana appeared on Sister Circle earlier this month where she denied knowing anything about a secret recording. I have never said that there was an audio recording, she said. I have never recorded anyone. That is not my character. That is not who I am. Just because I said I had receipts, that did not mean that it was the definition of, a, of an audio recording. So, I'm going to let y'all guys, because that was the end of the article, but it had a space in here where... Uh, Candy was being, like I said, interviewed, and she had a chance to um, say something. I'm trying to see if that audio would come up, or what did, what did I do? What did I do? Come on, little phone. Let's see, where was it? Where was it? Was it here? Okay, I think it was here. So here we go. Because we don't even, the thing is, we don't really know Yovana that well. And so, we don't even know you that well. And they're not saying clearly, but Marlo and Nini are hinting that you are the snake that would possibly be recording people. I don't want you hanging around me. I don't want you hanging around me if you do that. I don't know you like that already. I'm already weird about new people. And then I find out you recorded me. Oh, no, I'm good, girl. When Nene came in the room, that, that gave us some laughter with the t out. That was funny. But to me, I just kind of felt like she should have squashed it for everybody. Yes, you guys got to see the cutaway when she was in the hallway with Yovana trying to tell her, well, I'm trying to help you, blah, 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 blah. But in the room, she was not answering any real questions. Yovana, I was ticked with her because if you watch the season, you know I asked her a couple times already, did she have anything to do with this? And she clearly said no. Then all of a sudden... She knows who has the audio. Well, what, what, what the hell you mean? I heard her ask you, and you said you didn't know anything about it. I'm like, okay, it kind of like made me look at her different because even though I know Yana, Yovana had a over the top moment last season between her and you know when she had got a little tipsy last season or whatever. That I mean, I was that bitch. I was Yovana from Clark, CA. <laughs> I actually kind of liked Yovana. I thought she was kind of funny, and uh, she would try to reach out to us off camera and stuff like that. So I thought she was genuinely trying to make relationships. But in my mind, right then, I was like, oh, "Okay, so you be recording people when when we not here? You know what I mean? That that's a no no." <laughs> and y'all, that was pretty much it of what Candy had to say. But again. I'm like, who the hell told Candy she the security guard? She had to frisk everybody to make sure uh, whether or not they record. Not one time did Yovana say that she had an audio or uh, some type of reference where somebody was speaking 
uh, ill, meaning Cynthia was speaking ill of Nene, and somebody was recording. She didn't say that shit. She didn't say that. Okay, that was Nene sitting up there talking about, um, there was an audio going around, or she has audio footage of, you know, uh, somebody talking bad about her, meaning Cynthia. I'm like, Nene, if you don't sit your behind down anything, they should have been trampling on Nene for bringing up the whole mess about having somebody on uh, audio. Uh, if there was no audio, if she didn't hear the audio, it's pretty much like it ain't no audio. What are we talking about? We're talking about somebody had a conversation with Cynthia, whomever that may have been. They allegedly taped it from what Nene said because Yovana didn't say shit about tape. But she said she had receipts. No she, receipts could have been written down. They could have been, uh, what, visual somehow. <laughs> I mean, it just was just thought, it, it was just fakery foolishness to me, okay? It was just something probably production tried to get up. Or maybe Yovana did say she had proof. But she did not say she had audio from the beginning. I mean, I was there. I had eyes to see. I had ears to listen to it. So anybody should be getting mad. The women should be getting mad at Nene, not Yovana. And again, in that little last episode we did show where um the ladies were getting into it and all that. And then Candy was calling herself stayed behind talking to Yovana about, you know, what do you know? You need to confess. You need to, I'm like, why are you interrogating her, Candy? Why don't we interrogate you of you sitting up here and going telling business personal uh, conversations that you have with other women on the show? You going back and tell uh, your girl, Cynthia and Kenya, hey, uh, what they don't know won't hurt them. Now, if they in the conversation and people want to just talk left about them, let have. That's between them. They ain't got nothing to do with you. They ain't talking about you. So why you going to sit up there and take shit back to your so-called friends? Hell, you don't believe what they're saying. And then if you want to stand up and, 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 and verbally fuss with them about your friends while y'all in the midst of talking about the people you hang around, then that's cool. Because one thing they can say when shit come back, when you were part of that conversation, it's uh-uh, Candy tore us up about, you know, trying to talk about y'all and this, that, and the third. Then if they want to come to your face, tell me, why you didn't tell us? Why you didn't tell us you had got down for us and that was good we would no, you didn't need all that okay when people in my presence they talk about folk that i like that i've been with i get them straight and i'm like y'all say whatever y'all want to say but there's those are good people okay maybe y'all had an experience or whatnot but i ain't finna say shit and by the matter yet let me get up and get my plate from y'all okay until y'all change this conversation because i don't want to hear y'all talk about them unless you're gonna talk about them when we all together because it is gonna be another time and i'm gonna bring it up i'm gonna say what I'll say about something, something, so, so. On that day, we ate with each other. So, y'all can come back and say the same shit that y'all saying to me without them when we all come together in that same form. I'm going to introduce the conversation back so y'all can hash it out. And I'm going to let y'all have. Because I ain't saying shit. Anything you're going to say, well, I, that, 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 well, Dub tried to take up for y'all. Dub Chanel was going to bats for y'all. And, you know, it ain't going to be no situation about why you didn't tell me. Why did I have to tell you? I handled the shit when it was happening. Just because you weren't present, you weren't privy to the conversation i handled the situation okay that's all thing you need to know did i handle the situation did i take up for you and the people say yeah they took up for you you ain't got to know what was said you ain't got to even know it transpired but if it came back up they're gonna say that what well, chanel went to bat for you okay now that's a true friend that's an og that's how we get down i ain't got time to be toting shit now if you want to give out some money to somebody and you know they've been talking to you talking about you like a dog and all this stuff I might have to say, hold up, wait a minute, let me think about it, okay? Let me go with you when you sit there and want to get that money to them so I can bring up a conversation. Because then after you hear what they had to say about you, you may not want to get them that money. But you know what? I'm going to let them say it, okay? And if they don't say it, then I'll say it while we are all together. Now, I don't like folks, you know, talking about somebody and then you try to use them for monetary gain or something to that effect. And then I come out the woodwork on you and I go and, and be like, ham and be telling tea and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, hey, if you're going to be one way, be it all the way, you know, be all the way 100. Don't be trying to, you know, say shit about a person Then you're going to try to go take their good stuff from them. That ain't right. Mm -mm, that's fake fraudulent fuckery and I got time to talk about it, okay? But anyway, that's all I have 
for this video, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Candace sitting up there trying to say, well, she trying to hang out with us and we don't like nobody. See, that's a good, there you, there you go again, Kenny. You don't know how to be an individualist. You always trying to group yourself up with somebody and try to say what the girls don't like, what we don't like. Now, Candy, what you don't like, okay? Tell us about what you feel. Don't talk about other women because you can't talk about them. You can't really give us a good yay or nay, okay? I'm saying don't nobody know each other. Don't know about know each other, but the Lord who created us that can say yay or nay. Even your, your significant other, your spouse, they can't truly say what you would do when a certain thing is presented. They would say what they would hope you would do or what they thought that you may do, but they can't say for certain. They can't say for the gospel. So you need to stop talking for everybody else. Okay, talk for yourself. That's the only person you know about. And then you might surprise yourself on how you would handle the situation depending on how it was brought to you, girl. So so I'm, 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 I'm losing interest with you and I'm losing my patience, okay? Because every time you got to go and tell for what somebody else said, you know what I'm saying? Just worry about yourself. Handle yourself, girl. But anyway, that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this article and Candy going over there to Essence.com. I'm sure they invited her. She just didn't go show up at their door. Uh, to get some tea on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, get get them one up, keeping them relevant in social media, keeping us wanting to watch that mindless drama of the entertainment they give to us that we freely partake of. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know about it, what y'all thought about it, and about what Candy is still doing, being a bone collector, taking stores here, there, everywhere. Okay, but still trying to make herself look good and talk about what other people feel. No, Candy, talk about yourself. Tell us how you feel, baby girl. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe my videos. Uh, and like my videos as well. And I will see you next video on Deb Chanel's 48th World. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.